Thank you. Okay, hi everyone. Now we're going to go over the Undergraduate Research Symposium poster approval process so that you can present uh, on April 6th in the Student Union. So first, once your abstract has been accepted, you will get an email from the CRE um, along with your co-presenters and research mentors uh, about your abstract meaning um, <clears throat> accepted and then information about the poster approval process uh, and various other things. So just make sure that um, your poster is mostly done and complete and taking um, and your research mentor has already given you a lot of feedback so that this is just a quick and easy process once it's uploaded and your uh, research mentor can approve it. So this is the email that will be sent out to all uh, Europe students. <clears throat> and I'm going to switch to a new share to take you to the next process. So now that you've been approved, you need to log in again with your FSU ID. Okay, and then make sure you're logging in as an applicant. You will see this and it says that you need to upload your poster for approval. You'll hit start and then you'll start by uploading a poster with the final poster submission round. Okay, so I have David Advent. He is going to be, uh, I'm actually not going to have him as a co-presenter. He will be my uh, research mentor for this. Um, we will print our poster for th free through the CRE. And I'm going to pick a poster to upload. You'll notice that the poster must be a PDF. It has to be 36 by 48 inches. Um, you must have the student names underlined, include the Europe logo and FSU seal, include a references section, and also have a light background color. Uh, <clears throat> and there is a naming format as well. So you put your last name, your first initial, underscore poster. And then if you're in a group, you have group underscore last name, first initial, the first presenter, and then the second presenter's last name and first initial, and so on, um, and then underscore poster. So I'm going to grab my poster, which is cleverly already labeled in the way that we have asked for, open it, <laughs> and then once I hit mark as complete, my research <clears throat> mentor will be asked to review my poster, okay? So I'll hit mark as complete. Yeah. One important point is that you must go back to the application. You might have already added your research mentor as a collaborator. Point to note, um, your research mentor needs to be added as a collaborator. I have already added um, David as a collaborator and he has accepted. There are notes in the written tutorial about this and in our other tutorial about adding <clears throat> your abstract to submit it for the symposium. Um, that also has a video tutorial of how to add collaborators. So I am going to turn it over to David um, so that he can talk about how to the, how the research mentor approves the poster. Great. So as Alicia mentioned, um, to approve the poster, you have to be added as a collaborator to the application. Um, you'll receive an email saying um, that, the po that a poster has been added for your approval, and you'll be asked to review it by March 9th. So how you access uh, that poster is you can go back to the email that you received, the, re the request to collaborate on, and click on join now. And when that pops up, it'll take you to the SurveyMonkey apply site, which I'm sharing now. And you'll see the 
URS poster approval round one. You should be able to just log in with your FSU ID on the SurveyMonkey Apply site um, to see this um, application. You can, clicking on the email like I mentioned before was just if um, you already had access to that email easily. So now that we've logged into the application, you'll click on final poster submission round one, and you'll look at the poster. You can either view it in SurveyMonkey or you can download it. Once you've looked over it, you'll go back, click on the poster approval, and then select whether the poster, whether you approve the poster to be presented at the symposium or no, it can't be presented or I don't approve it and you'll list the edits that need to be completed. Let's just say that the poster looks great and you agree that the poster can be submitted, that it will be available to the public both during the event and the digital program. You understand that um, you know, if there's something you don't want that available to the public, you'll work with the student to remove that. And then after you click on mark is complete, your approval or your edits will be sent to the students. You'll click on mark is complete. And that means that the approval was submitted. If there were edits that need that the student needs to complete, the students will receive an email that says a uh, student must complete edits um, and they'll need to upload an edited version of the poster. And this process of uploading the poster and you approving it will start again. They have up to three tries and that will go to poster round approval round two, poster approval round three, and then a final one um, for the poster to be approved by you, the research mentor. If the student and the research mentor opted to have the poster printed through the CRE, there is nothing more that needs to be done other than show up for the symposium. If the poster will be printed through another department, the student will need to bring the printed poster to us uh, by Monday, April 3rd at 5 p.m. So obviously after the uh, poster has been approved, we will print it for you or if you print it through somewhere else. Thank you. So that uh, takes care of all of the um, pieces of the poster approval process. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can email both David and I at cre at fsu.edu. Thank you.